To write the balanced net ionic equation for MgNO32 plus KOH, this is magnesium nitrate plus potassium hydroxide, first we need to balance the molecular equation. So I can see that I have two nitrates here and just one here. I'm going to put a 2 in front of the KNO3. Now I have two potassiums and only one. Put a 2 here, but that's nice because now I have these two hydroxides and I have two over here. Those are balanced, one magnesium, one magnesium. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the states for each substance. So magnesium nitrate, nitrates are very soluble. That's going to dissolve and dissociate. KOH, this is potassium hydroxide, a strong base. That's also going to dissociate another nitrate here. And then magnesium hydroxide. Hydroxides in general are insoluble except for hydroxides in group one. So this is actually going to be slightly soluble and for net ionic equations, we say it's insoluble. So we put an S, it's going to be a solid. When these react, this will fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we have the states. Now we can split strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll be the complete ionic equation. So we have Mg, that's in group 2 on the periodic table. That has a 2 plus ionic charge. Whole nitrate, 1 minus. We have two of them. So we have Mg. 2 plus, and I'll write aqueous at the end, plus 2 nitrate ions, potassium group 1, and then the whole hydroxide has a negative charge, so I have 2 potassium ions, and 2 of the hydroxide ions. Those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. So we had a plus and a minus, so 2 potassium ions again in the products, and 2 nitrate ions. And then the magnesium hydroxide, since that's a solid, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. It just stays together. So this is our complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So let's see what we have. I see two nitrates here in the reactants and two nitrates in the products. Get rid of those. Two potassium ions, two potassium ions get rid of those. And what's left is the net ionic equation for MgNO32 plus KOH. I'll clean it up, write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for magnesium nitrate plus potassium hydroxide. You note that the charge is balanced. We have 2 plus here and 2 times 1 minus. So 2 plus and 2 minus, that gives us a net charge of zero. Over here, this is neutral net charge of zero. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be the same as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for MgNO32 plus KOH. Thanks for watching.